Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Monday, September 16th Core Implementations Weekly Sync. Woot! I am facilitating since Alan has a brand new baby who is super cute, baby no name. We are very excited to meet baby no name. And Stephen, it's Stephen's birthday and he is in transit. So it's a, it's a happy day for everybody. Um, I'm excited to help out here. Big thank you to Jake for note taking and everyone drop in your updates to the initiatives so we can get going. Stephen, do you want to start with a, a quick update on the past release if you have sufficient service? Uh, sure. Well, there's no updates in the past release. is going to be a new release. Uh, it's going to be a very quick one to fix build issues on Go 1.13. And I believe there may also be some build issues in 1.12 due to upstream disappearing in certain cases. We had the same issue with the last release. This was ever so fun. Um, so yeah, there will be a new release to fix these issues. But that's it. Cool, cool. So not actually new features within IPFS, just new Go IPFS. No, right. again, this is yeah, this is another patch release to fix the build on 1.13. Or sorry, Go 1.13. Gotcha. Sounds good. I'm being slow so Alex can finish typing before he tells us what he's typing. Uh, yeah, so I've been in yeah, really central uh, this week. Um, so of note, uh, we've been running uh, our tests against the test, well, running the new RC against tests of uh, a bunch of repos. So we started with um, internal repos and they were all great. And then obviously, of course, as soon as it touched a third party repo, it fell over. Um, which is great because we found a bug that we otherwise wouldn't have found until after release. Um, so that's cool. So I've been looking into that. Uh, so I'm, I'm just, yeah, it's a difference in how, because we upgraded um, to node fetch and there's something different around that than how they used to send requests. Because it, it's weird, it works with JS, IPFS, it doesn't work with Go IPFS. Tedious. Anyway, so looking into that more, um, opened a bunch of issues on a whole bunch of third-party repos to say, hey, join the uh, early early release program so that we can like get basically get them to do what I'm doing right now, which would be really cool because, you know, spread the load and all that. Um, yeah, just trying to automate everything. So I added running the interrupt tests to the build. So they now run on every PR, um, which is going to be interesting. Uh, hopefully, like running all of our interface tests has led to more stable interface tests. So hopefully, this will lead to more stable interrupt tests as well. There's like a fringe benefit. Um, the next thing to do is going to be to automate uh, running against all our internal repos and then all of those um, third party repos and then automate opening the PRs for them, uh, which is cool because they're opting into all that stuff. Um, so at the moment, I'm just kind of doing it as Azure scripts that run on my machine, but it would be super rad to get that running in CI instead so that if my machine catches fire for whatever reason, uh, it doesn't stop things from working. Cool. That is super exciting. Any, any questions or additional comments on release process from anyone? Snaps to both team for having awesome release processes. Um, speaking of, of uh, quarterly OKRs, that is a, a new institution this quarter, and it seems to be paying off already in terms of bugs caught prior to releases, which is super awesome. Cool, cool. Jim, testing infra process. OK, so um, I, um, I did lots of little things last week, but. Um, the main thing I wanted to um, draw attention to was this uh, mapping exercise I did, which is uh, linked in there. And uh, Molly, can you click on that possibly? Uh, and Molly left some com comments on it. Um, but I um, just sort of looked, I, I sort of did like a, a long term idea like, what, what are all the things that we might possibly want to test in a, like a large scale environment? And, um, and then I sort of I took a look at look at the IPFS goals we did early in the year and try to match them up to sort of cluster them and put them in little buckets. And I came up with uh, ten sort of different areas. And um, these, are, this is just something right, that came out of my brain. But I'm sort of I, I'm sort of curious if other people did the same process, sort of mapping exercise, 
how they would arrange things in terms of priority. And I think this is useful because in the next uh, 30 days, we want to get like basically 10 tests sort of written. Um, but I sort of think they're sort of like almost like sort of starter starting points. And so I sort of wanted to know, like, there is probably not going to be these 10 buckets, but, um, you know, I think the emphasis is probably going to be more on like, getting some of the DHT changes out there, some of the bit swap changes out there. Um, but I think that I'd like to talk one-on-one -on -one with pretty much everybody in the company and just sort of feel like, where should we be investing the time? Because that's going to inform um, what the test infrastructure is going to look like. So like just hearing like Alex talk about the testing he's adding, like that's, that totally maps onto this. So uh, I, I want to talk one-on-one -on -one with Alex, obviously. So. Um, Okay, you can go back. And then uh, just mention what Raul's working on. He's been working on this test ground engine, which is uh, sort of the uh, going to be used for um, testing things like the DHT across like thousand, spinning up 10,000 nodes and running certain sort of tests. And it's like a good, he's writing it in Go and it's going to use Nomad and run on a cluster. So he's been actively doing that. I have to review the code and see what he's been um, doing and try to get some of that running myself. And I'm going to be doing some um, traffic shaping work on that. So that's it for our group. Very exciting. And the the tests the tests we discussed those um those ten initial tests within the next thirty days. The aim is that once we have once we have those tests up and running, it'll allow us to run Go IPFS through those tests and validate that it um, any changes that we make continue to um, support the network being fully operational and hopefully track our, our improvements as we um, land a series of kind of outstanding changes that um, we think need good uh, network emulation prior to uh, being able to launch those publicly to all of the, the many nodes on the network. Um, so the objective is to, you know, our aim was to get that done this quarter. Um, I think our, our aim is to get those tests within the next 30 days such that we can be, be landing and starting to run that through our release process. Yes. I, I just like to say, like, um, on the DHT stuff in particular, it's going to be quite difficult to test because, like, some of the things that are breaking the DHT are things that we see in the wild, and they might be sort of hard to actually, like, reproduce in the test environment. So. Um, we'll have to think about that. So. Accurate. All right. Alex, anything to add for garbage collection? Uh, no, nothing new. It's been merged. It's in the release branch. It's going to go out with V38 probably at the end of next week or the start of the week after. Exciting. So I don't really know how long to do the community. Uh, section for uh, the community uh, testing bit because there's not, not really many, many people in it. So. Valid. Maybe uh, w worth shrinking from the a week long period to. Yeah, I don't want to do a release on a Friday though. That would be a disaster. That's the only thing. Yeah, give yourself at least till Monday <laughs> for sure. Um, cool. Gossip's up. Pasco. Uh, so the, this initiative is closed. Uh, the PR in GSIPFS is merged and will be released with the garbage collection and pinning. And now we have also the config to choose what router we want to use, if flood server or gossip sub, and the gossip sub is enabled by default in GSIPFS. And that's it. Congratulations. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. super exciting. Cool. Yeah. Done. Cool. Subdomain gateway. Do we have a Lytle? He's out. Lytle's out today, right? Well, maybe Lytle will add an update later. Distributed signaling, Jacob. Yeah, so this is still on hold uh, while we do our push on getting the JSLPTP refactor um, done. Snazzy, and then we will hold off on talking to the, about that one for like three more, and then we can talk. Cool. IPNS, Adin. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, 
basically reworking PubSub to handle uh, topic registration separately from publish and subscribe because I can't figure out what peers I'm interested in without subscribing because subscribing is the only way to say I care about something, which is a little awkward. Um, so that's that's going on there. There's a few PRs I'm uh, getting feedback from from the P2P. Uh, there also seem to be some leaking Go routines running around in the tests. Uh, I, I squashed one of them over there. Uh, we will probably run into more. Uh, I'm out next week for the ICN conference and probably will be putting together some lib P2P, some IPNS like overview, slide, etc. things for anyone who's interested. Uh, and that's, yeah, that, that is all for now. That's awesome. I'm sure lib IPNS overview slides would be very interesting to many people and we should uh, also find ways to share those those out. If you have any recordings of, of the work you guys do at the ICN conference, um, uh, putting them up on YouTube so other people can, can view and learn from them would be super cool. Cool, cool. Migration to multi-hash keys in block store. I, I do not see an Adam or a, an Alan on this call. Anyone know the latest status? Nope. Okay. Package manager updates. Dirk, Adin, Dominic. Yeah, I, I believe uh, Dirk is out today. Um, so the only thing I guess we can really update on is probably the bit swap stuff. Uh, Dirk's been putting a lot of effort into that and it seems to be going pretty well, um, very well received. And then uh, Dean, do you want to speak more on some stuff? Yeah, I mean, I, the rest, there's, there's, you know, IPNS stuff, which is, is ongoing, should be, as we've already talked about. Uh, Dominic is doing, doing mount things, which I've been seeing some demos, progress, some, some cool progress being made. So that's good. And hopefully, we should be able to just get people to sync some stuff by amount and that would be that would be super nice um yeah steven you have anything on bit swap things new and i don't steven you're a little bit of a robot trust my audio there you go. Or maybe there you don't go. More like bit drop, am I right? <laughs> oh, what? Sorry, my network is really unstable. There are no new updates. Can you hear that? Yep, heard that one. All right, no new updates this week. I think there are probably updates, but we'll hear them from Dirk later. Um, snazzy stuff. More improvements in the works. All right. Then async await refactor, lots of stuff. Someone going to present on Alan's behalf while he is taking care of his newborn child. Yes, uh, Alan has put in a ton of work on the loop P2P async await refactor, and we are taking that off his hands while he uh, enjoys life with new baby. Um, so, but a few things, we just released the lib P2P TCP refactor update today. Interface stream are today. Libby to be Amplex should be going out um, either later today or tomorrow. Um, and then we'll be wrapping up the interface connection. With all of this, we've been working on the new Lib JS Libby to be switch dial flow. Um, it's going to be separating out logic a little bit better um, with an actual upgrader, which is more similar to how Go Libby to be works. Um, and so we've been doing all that in parallel, so it's been a little bit slow getting everything together, um, but we're, we're just about over the hump. Um, so we should be able to get the interface connection also out um, today or in the next couple of days. And then um, we'll be working on um, the rest of the dial flow. As Molly is pulling up here, we did create a Trello board to kind of create a visual of, hey, these are all the things that we're trying to get done. Um, we'll be adding more as they go, um, including things like uh, integrating with um, developers 
for who are consuming lib P2P, uh, like the gossip sub, um, like the chain safe team, um, things like that to try to work on making sure that that's a smooth upgrade for people. We'll also be creating, hopefully this week, I'm gonna work on uh, creating a contributor guide so that we can have other people either internally or externally help with some of the refactors. Um, so we'll be creating some guides for that. And then eventually we'll create user guides for people um, for migrating or just using the new um, async iterator streams going forward. So hopefully that will be a much, much smoother process. So, yeah. That's where we are. Very exciting. I know we have a very epic um, JSI PFS async await migration issue, but the Trello board is really nice in terms of knowing where things are. Definitely appreciate the visual. Cool, cool. Are there any other initiatives that didn't get added to this list that we should add? Nope. All right, design review proposals. Steven, just, go ahead. Uh, oh, sorry, Dean, sorry. I'm, brief question. So is is the gossip sub JS epic thing, like is that is that done for next week? Are we like uh, elsewhere? It, it is done and it will be shipped once uh, Alex ships it. So I think yes, next week. Exciting. Are there other questions? I can't see everyone's hands all at once. Okay, then moving on to design review proposals. Um, Steven, Unix FS v2 v1.5, not v2. Uh, yeah, so if you're interested, in that, please uh, write your name. So meeting. Basically, we're one point some critical issues we need to fix for package managers without having to redesign everything uh, so that we don't have to like rush Unix v2 out the door because we need these feature package managers. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, uh, write down your Well, and a design review will be scheduled for later this week, presumably, such that we can have a, a plan going forward with for the quarter and hopefully mitigate bike shedding. Yay. Any other design review proposals, things that, that need a decision or um, need to make, make progress, get, get some people in a room, make a call on something? Nope. Cool. Any blockers or asks? No blockers or asks. Everyone is completely unblocked. I feel like I was seeing some things that were blocked here. Any open questions? I have a question for the test bed endeavor. Is it is it documented what the choices around containerization like what's the output what's the i'm interested in the process we get to from here is a tested image that is provably working better than the previous release of goipfs and how i ingest that in the gateway infrastructure such that we can start to work towards deploying the images that we test so um, i haven't spoken to anyone about that contact point between our two universes. I don't know if we... Yeah, I think that's interesting. Um, like what's... Like it sort of like gets to like what the dashboards look like and how does it hook into our CI tests? Or just yeah. unit, we have all these unit tests and things that run on a single node, but then we also want to test things that run these big cluster type tests. So yeah. How do we hook all that together into... Uh, Hello. GitHub has like APIs that you can do like checks and like have a little check boxes up yep. here on PRs and things. That might be something we could do, but it hasn't really been discussed yet. So. Okay. I guess even at the lowest level, like the, you're just pr producing Docker compatible 
images at this point. Like as long as I know what runtime we're targeting, I can steer steer the gateway endeavor to be able to ingest that. Yeah, it hasn't really been built yet. Yeah. To give you some context, I believe the, the images should spit out uh, results in just NDJSON form on standard out. Uh, that will all be dumped into uh, InfluxDB. Um, the mm -hmm. nodes will be controlled, point probably using Redis. Uh, we're going to try building some libraries around this to make it easier to use. Um, for tests that you need to run on like one or two machines, this is less important. Uh, this is like most designed to be able to handle things like hundred or thousands of nodes. Um, yeah. So it depends it, on the test case. Yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to create some images as part of the testbed project that um, bake in configuration that is mostly the same as what we would want to run on the gateways so that we have some test scenarios that test how this will run in the gateways without having to run it on the gateways, which is currently where we do most of our testing. And I'd like to move slowly away from that and to start to receive well-tested images with configurations that I, that we just deploy to the gateway. Um, maybe we, yeah, we can totally do that. Yeah. Yep. Maybe we can have a discussion and come up with some requirements. Sounds good. I, I believe each physical machine has own like orchestrator Docker image and then other Docker images running on top of that. So like the other Docker images could be like the default gateway images and then the orchestrator one uh, could control it. I think we can do that. I'm not sure. We may have to do some layering where like we, we start with like the, the gateway image and then add a few things on top, but that we have to talk with Rel about. Nice. Yeah, I just wanted to, it's just an idea that's been rattling around my head to start the conversation. I will follow up. It is a good idea. Very good reasoning. Any other questions? Or parking lot discussion topics? Nyon. Chill. Okay. Well, then everyone add your weekly update to the bottom so that people can plus one and, and see all the cool stuff that you're doing. Um, and yeah, hopefully we have a design review coming this week and a lot of exciting things headed out with the JSIPFS release, which is super cool. Um, I assume, Alex, that you would probably be a good person to add to this Unix of us meeting as well. Nods, cool, thumbs up. Uh, snazzy, well, take two extra minutes back for yourself. A wealth of time, I'm sure much can be done in the two extra minutes. A whole little snap dance from Holly style. And have a great rest of your Monday. Happy days. Bye. 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 Bye.